Okay, this is going to be a quick video for um, basically setting up a project when um, every so often, I know my experience, we get given something like um, a photo of a a photo of a, um, a site or of topography or something like that, and we need to we need to be able to use that because. Basically, at the start of some projects, that's all we get access to. So um, this is going to be a quick workflow process of how to go from something like that to a to a usable DWG, putting that into Revit and creating topography from it. All right. First thing to do. Um, this is the image I've taken. I've just shown it. It's um. I've taken it with an iPhone, and because it's a black and white image, I put the iPhone onto black and white when I was taking the image. Just means that we've got a little bit less post production in um, Illustrator. So um, there it is. I'll um, open it in Illustrator. I remember this is the one I've done earlier, but I'll go back and go through the process again. So open the image. So this is the, the image I took. Um, you could put this into Revit and have a go at just tracing it in Revit. Um, but what I prefer to do is if you select the image, go to Object, Image Trace, Mech. Well, it tells you that it might take a minute to do this. You say OK. Basically, what this is doing is um, changing the lines to vectorizing it. So um, making lines into selectable objects for Revit or for AutoCAD. And it also means that it traces it in a more black and white, makes black black, makes white white. Um, so this is a, this should bring up this menu and you should have a threshold. And I'm not the guru for Illustrator. I use it for a few basic things like this. Um, so every image you, t you put in here, you'll have to tweak this um, according to the image quality that you have. Um, so if I bring that up to 200, you'll start to see the contours come through a bit heavier. Other things will come through heavier as well, but we can ignore those. Um, and also, if you know how to use Illustrator, you might be able to select things like the big black areas and refine this a, a little bit more. This is just a basically the proof of concept as a, as a workflow. I'll go to 10. Let's see how this goes. So every time I just tweak this and play with some of the settings to see if you can get this to come through just as clearly as you possibly can. I need more time, a little bit more time spent here. We'll save you time in the next step. Next step, the next step after this, let's see how that's going to come through. Yeah, I think that's starting to do. I think that looks usable. All right. So next step I'm going to do is val export export as, and this is where we get the choice of exporting as a DWG. I'm going to save that as example image two export. default settings. People who, if in, someone was watching this and thinking, oh, there's much better settings for Illustrator, or please feel free to comment or even create your own video of this workflow with, with better settings. Um, I'm 
as I say, I'm not the illustrator guru. All right, now I'm going to go and create a new project using the company template. Okay, Australia, Jack Cat, resources, library, templates. And there's our, our template. I will open that. And then once this is done, you could also go into AutoCAD, open the DWG in AutoCAD, and you can then even edit it a little bit more in AutoCAD, which would also save you a little bit of time and revit. I'll show you what I mean by that. Basically, because we've taken the image and made a DWG out of it, it really only has, I think, two layers, um, which doesn't make it ideal for making a topography from, but at least the topography will make you make it using points. All right, I'll show you what that all means. So if I go to a, a 3D view, and I'm just going to go insert, and this is this is one time when we import a CAD. Um, we I basically never import a CAD unless we're making a topography out of it. I generally don't correct lines that are slightly off axis. And a little bit of datum, original, yep, the rest of that's fine. The reason I don't correct lines that are off axis is I've found that in the past that for very large DWGs, it will actually change it. I'll just pull this over a little bit and pin it. Spin this around, and I'll actually rotate this to be. Us as close to north as I can get it from this. All right, and if I go, if I click on this, you can see quite clearly the contours. Um, if I click on this, just rub in a little bit with it. If I go query. see how it, wherever I've clicked on a spline and it's layer one. So the vast majority of this will be on layer one. So next step is you've got a couple of choices. So because of I've done the yeah the the trace, the image trace in Illustrator means that if I go to draw a line, draw a model line for example. should actually snap to this. And if I go to use this as a, if I go to make a topography using this, I can create from import, select import, select this. I want to use layer one, go okay. This will take a little, Take a few minutes. But what it will, what it should do, is put a point. Look, put lots of points around along these lines. I'll just let it process. So as I say, you've got two choices at this point. You can create it from import. It'll make totally flat, but put lots of points, so you can then modify the points or you can trace it the old fashioned way, but you'll at least be able to snap to it and um, and just do it. Yeah, so this is this, you can see how many points that's just placed. So it just means the next, the next step will be working out what each of these contour lines are. So they should just be at one meter intervals and, um, and moving them. So just select the line, select the points and 
move them to the right height. Um, as you can see, due to not spending that little bit extra time in cleaning up the property boundaries, um, we're left with every single property boundary having points. Ideally, it would just be contours. So that's why doing that little bit of post production in AutoCAD would pay off dividends in the end. Um, the other thing to remember, as something I should have mentioned before we even clipped that, is that you need to make sure that this is scaled before you create a topography from it. Otherwise, it's coming from an image taken on taken on a phone to Illustrator and then into Revit. At no point during that process we have we scaled this to be life size. So that's absolutely critical that that gets done along the workflow. It's something I should have mentioned earlier, actually. So if I go back, first of all, what I need to do scale it. The best thing we can use to scale it is the scale bar. Um, this will be not clicked by any means, but it should be adequate until we, we get a survey later on in the process. As I say, this is the very early days of a project. Um, Not, not to be doing this into construction. It's not the solution for us. It's, if you're going to do, going into construction with your information based on an image, um, you really need to figure out what has gone wrong along the way. But you can see how this is snappable. So that should be. Um, let's check. meters so as a little tip and um, you can go 200 m yeah, 200 meters there you go so that should be if I try to draw a line this line to being perfect as we can expect for this. All right. So that's the that's the general workflow. Now that it's the right scale, we can go mass and insight, topography, create from import, select import, click select that, take it off the layer zero, and yep, that'll create the, the points again. Then it's just a matter of selecting the points. Alternative is place points and trace this. Which, if, um, to be honest, if I was doing it, I would probably do that and only do the five meter intervals to begin with. Um, I feel like this is going to be much too detailed, considering it's not all that accurate. Um, but once that's done, you've got north going up the sheet, you've got your topography done, and it's, uh, yeah, I guess you can draw in your property boundaries using the property boundary part of this. Just I'll finish this and then you can see it. And then you can get on with doing a concept of some type or uh, dropping a building onto the, the topography. Thank you.